In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the ragamuffin cat. A generally calm cat, the ragamuffin is an ideal companion for those living in apartments, and the breed adapts well to changes in routine. The ragamuffin is a large, long-bodied cat. She is heavily boned with a long tail and a plush coat. The ragamuffin appears even bigger than she is. The ragamuffin has a medium-sized head but her fur makes her face appear bigger. The ears are also medium-sized, and are set on the sides of the head to continue the triangular look of the face. The legs are long and strong. The chin should be well-developed and the oval eyes should be blue. The ragamuffin comes in various colors and patterns. Some of these color patterns are the same as those of the ragdoll. The ragamuffin with a color point pattern has a light body color with contrasting, darker, color on the extremities, mask and ears. The bicolor ragamuffin also exhibits dark points, but will show an inverted V on the forehead with the stomach, all four legs and the ruff being white. The mitted ragamuffin also shows points, but in this color pattern, the feet are white, as is the chin. In addition to these classic ragdoll color patterns, the ragamuffin has various other colors and patterns. Here are some interesting facts about ragamuffin cats that will make you admire them even more. 1. Ragamuffin cats are crossbreed cats. If you're a true feline lover, you have almost certainly heard about or seen sweet soft furred ragdoll cats, known for their amicability. Well, ragamuffin cats are descendants of ragdoll cats. With fluffy fur and striking blue eyes, they make onlookers gaze in awe. When ragdolls are bred with Persian or Himalayan cats, the result is a ragamuffin. Ragamuffins are a fairly new breed of cat that came into existence, only two decades ago on account of crossbreeding. Ragamuffins retain the ragdoll's innocuous, but sweet personality. However, one of the notable features where they differ from their ancestors is in the eyes. Ragamuffins don't have those sharp blue catchy eyes. The good thing is that their fur is extremely soft and feels almost like rabbit fur. 2. Ragamuffin wasn't the first name choice. Ragamuffin sounds like such an adorable name for this lovely feline, but interestingly enough, the original name proposed for this breed of cat was Liebling. Liebling is a German word, whose English equivalent would be darling or sweetheart. Some of you might be curious how the cat got its actual name Ragamuffin? Well, the name Ragamuffin was selected after a broad discussion amongst the cat breeding community, in order to retain a link from the new breed to the foundation breed, the Ragdoll. Even so, in some parts of the US, like Northern Virginia, Ragamuffins are still called Lieblings. 3. Ragamuffins love to be held. Ragamuffin cats are unusually relaxed about being held, and love to curl up on their humans for some quality cuddling. You can scoop up a ragamuffin and hold them like a baby, although of course double check with the owner if it's not your cat, not all cats are as docile as each other. Because of their love of human interaction, they can become depressed and withdrawn if left alone for hours every day, so consider your routine if you're thinking about becoming a ragamuffin owner. 4. Ragamuffins love toys. Ragamuffins are so much like a young toddler, and love to play around with toys. Ask any ragamuffin expert and she cannot agree more over this. Catnip cigars and bird teasers happen to be two of the most popular toys for ragamuffin cats. Put such toys around them and you will get a hefty dose of the cat's playfulness and curiosity. Ragamuffins are very intrigued with battery-operated toys too. The movement of these electronic toys incites the cat's curiosity, especially if they look anything like a mouse. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. Ragamuffin's Personality The ragamuffin is a placid cat but does not really go limp when you hold her. She is even-tempered and gets along well with all family members. Changes in routine generally do not upset her. She is an ideal companion for those in apartments. 6. Ragamuffins Needs Healthy Food Ragamuffins are muscular, heavy breeds with a great appetite for food. They have high calorie requirements when it comes to their nutrition. To keep them healthy and happy, you need to feed them regularly with both dry and canned foods. 7. Ragamuffins need minimal grooming. The long, lush and luxurious fur of ragamuffins may fool you into thinking that breeding these cats is a costly affair, but it's actually not. Ragamuffins don't require all that much grooming, and are known to take proper care in cleaning themselves, so owners don't need to worry much about this feline's hygiene. Instead of giving them a regular weekly or monthly bath, a yearly or half-yearly bath should be good enough for most ragamuffins. The good thing is that ragamuffins are patient, meaning that grooming them won't be much of a challenge. 8. They are the 33rd most popular cat. They are a new breed, 
and as of 2020 have already risen into the top 50 cats. They are actually growing in popularity as people learn more about the breed and how easy they are to care for. People are also showing a love of larger domestic cats this is also helping the popularity of the ragamuffin cats. 9. Living with ragamuffin cats. The ragamuffin tends to have a fatty pad on the lower abdomen. While this is acceptable in the breed, it is not an excuse for permitting her to become overweight or out of condition. The nutrition of the ragamuffin should be controlled. As a placid cat, the ragamuffin needs interactive exercise in addition to playing room in order to keep her in shape. If need be, she should have her parents spend a dedicated period of time playing with her. The coat on the ragamuffin, while impressive, is easier to care for than it first appears. The coat should be brushed daily but this should be all that is needed in order to keep knots and tangles out of the coat. 10. Ragamuffins are easy to care for. Despite their long, luxurious fur, ragamuffin cats don't actually need all that much grooming. With most long hairs, you need to put a good portion of time aside every few days for a lengthy brushing session. Ragamuffins have an unusual texture to their fur which makes it tangle resistant, so a gentle, short brushing session once a week is usually more than sufficient to prevent matting. As with all cats, they need their ears cleaning gently if they become dirty, and a spotless litter tray to keep them happy and healthy for many years to come. Ragamuffin cats are better suited to being indoor cats, mostly because they don't really have a sense of fear. They are full of confidence, which unfortunately can get them into trouble when out and about. Their natural curiosity can lead them into places they might not be able to get out of, like a neighbor's garage. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.